All right. Tier six game. On um, and of course now I've totally forgotten what the name of this map is. Sir, 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 Sir Von Musk, Sir, 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 forget. It's the one whose name I can never figure out how to pronounce. Anyways, I'm in my M18, and this map. Well, let's be honest. It's it's my favorite map. The reason I just turned around here is I just heard one of my teammates shoot another one. Turns out it was uh, there's a platoon here made up of a Hellcat and SU-100, and the, SU the the M18 just shot his teammate in the track. Uh, but I was turning around to make sure I was going to have to defend myself against uh, crazy teammates. Which delays me a few seconds here, but I'm going to go running off to the, towards the west side, which you can see is, as usual, much more lightly guarded because of the weird dynamics of this map. So here we go. And the first thing that comes to mind is a T-14. Look at this guy. He's just bowling right smack dab into the middle of the board here. And he's actually, because he's there, it actually is making this really dangerous. So I'm going to try to come charging across here. I'm going to not see that lump right here until the, hit the tree I hit. So this is bad. Now I just hit this. Now I might be exposed to that T-14, so I need to get back here quickly. Oop, nope, 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 nope. Hitting cover, hitting cover bad. Whoa, something close to me just exploded. I think it was that Jackson. Uh, better him than me. So yeah, we're not, we're not exactly having the most flying start here in Miami team. Oh, we've been spotted. Really bad, really bad, really bad, really bad. Go, 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 go. Okay. Should be safe here. I'm going to turn around. I'm going to sneak back to some of the bushes I passed and see if I can get some shots into that T-14 or for that matter. Anything else. At least that's what I'm hoping to do. But the uh, simple reality of it is I'm going to come to this bush, start looking around, and... Durr, there's nobody there I can shoot at. Hello, maybe get the T14? Nope, building in the way. Maybe he'll back out? No, he's going the other way. That very aggressive T14 has completely thrown my team off because they're having to go after him, which is exposing all the tank destroyers above them. As you can see, their, their TDs and all that are just racking up damage. Nope, someone else got him. Alright, well, there's heavy tank advancing over there. Let's get Churchill. Can I get a shot on him? Can I even find him? Ooh, there he is. Nope, he's there's stuff in the way. I still can't see him either. I'm just being a waste of space here on this team at the moment, and our team is down 5-8. Alright, I gotta do something. So SU-85 is actually being very aggressive against that Nash Horn up there, who's got two kills. So he's probably need some backup. So I'm going to get up here as fast as I can, hope that I can help him out. Unfortunately, it's not looking too promising. Yep, Nashorn just took the hit he had to take the SU-85 out. So maybe I can get some vengeance and finish him off. Gosh, we're down 5-10. This is just awful. Hello, Mr. Nashorn. Don't mind me. Thank you. All right, so first shot, first hit, first kill. It'll have to do. Oh, man. Okay, so the enemy is blown through the west flank. It's a TD in the middle. Now it's the AT-8. Let's see if we get a shot in this KV-1. Oh, 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 there was something there. There was something there. And where'd he go? Yeah, there's something in the way. Oh, there goes the AT-8. And uh, if I hadn't just fired that, I would have had a shot on him right there. But no. I'm going to have to wait till he comes back out. And there he is. And the shot goes low. Alright, well, he seems to have stopped, so maybe I can... Nope, still going low. Being a total waste of space here on the team. Hallelujah! Okay, that's two. Oh, there's only three of us left. The gun looks like six of them. Oh, there's the KV-1. Oh, there goes... The other health count. This is me a Jack Panzer 4. Jack Panzer 4 is not looking them too good. Come on. Uh, maybe if I move forward. Oh, he's engaging. Oh, he's taking fire. Yeah, I'm going to try and shoot to the building. Oh. Alright. Well, I'm alone. There's one, two, three, four, five, six of them left. Whoa, there goes the SU 85. Hey, good hit. But of course, I was also spotted by that, so I need to find some cover quick, quick, quick. All right, from right here, I should be safe for the moment. Whiff, shouldn't shoot from the cuff. Whoa, artillery. Okay, maybe not safe from the artillery. That was a near miss. I really should not just sit here. Oh, my RNG is just pissing me off today. 
All right. Oh, it's holding. Ow! Oh, that was an arty hit, but only a minimal amount of damage. It must have been a very marginal hit for him to have done so little damage to me. Yeah, shots coming in everywhere. All right, so still five of them left, just me. I do still have most of my health and plenty of ammo. Someone else has piled onto the cap circle, so guess what priority number one is? Let's see if I get a shot on the dude capping, but at least so long as I don't think. Whoa, that's a little close, Mr. Churchill. Oh, very lucky, he bounced off my mantlet. Goodbye. Move, 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 move. Oh, somebody shot me from the cap circle, whatever's capping. Come on, 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 come on. There, it's a chromo. That was really close on the artillery. Reset. Okay. Whoa, another close miss. Well, apparently this, the RNG that's plaguing me is also plaguing him. So now I gotta clear away from that spot. Because I don't want to engage from the same spot. The artillery will kill me for sure. And I'm still waiting for a Hellcat. Wait, Hellcat? Wait, 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 wait. There's their Hellcat. There's their Hellcat. One of my friends tries to point him out before I noticed them. Yeah, he's waiting for me to show up somewhere else. He can't see me. Ah! Okay. Three. Three down. Three to go. Ooh, KV-1. Very dangerous. When you're alone, that is. All right. Oops, spotted. Bad, 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 bad. Zigzag, zigzag. Oh! Ow, 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 ow. Whoa, artillery! That artillery really has it in for me. Okay. Uh, the cap's getting kind of high. I gotta get another shot in that Cromwell, because he's just sitting there, begging to be shot. Pop up into the bush. Whoa, KV-1! That's way too close. Oh god, he's definitely aiming at me. No choice. Take him out. All right, go, 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 go. Whoa, that was an artillery round. Glad the artillery's being trolled as hard by his RNG as I was earlier. Oh god, the cap's nearing 70%. I mean, whoa! Okay, this is really bad. Go, 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 go. Come on, come on. Okay, right about here, if I stop and let the binoculars come on. There he is. All right. Take that. Ah! All right, move, 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 move. Ooh, ooh. Hmm. He's run out of range. Oh, it didn't hit him. Okay, I gotta hunt the crown well. All right, so we're gonna move forward to this little ledge here where there's some bushes, trying to get a little bit closer. Well, I guess they're trees, really. Anything? Yeah, I have a little bit of time here. Base is only one third cap. I got almost a full minute to find him. Ooh, hang on, hang on. That's what I needed to hear. There he is. <laughs> Alright. Move out and reload with high explosive, because all that's left is just me and the artillery. Alright, we're gonna speed this up to double speed now, because there's a lot of driving. But first. So I tell my team, as you noticed, the early, my early game was awful. And now suddenly I've got seven kills. This, this is going to be something crazy. If I can find and kill this artillery, this is going to be a Radley Walters. This is going to be a Top Gun. This is going to be a Defender. And best of all, the first time ever for me, this will be a Kolobanov's medal. Kolobanov's medal. I, I think that's how it's said. Kolobanov's? Kolobanov's? Yeah. Hey, I'm moving fast, but I have six minutes to find this guy. So I'm actually going to start sweeping from where I think he's least likely to be hiding, which is over down in the J2 area, and sweep eastward, hoping I'll find him sitting, watching where I was last seen on the right side, just staring that way so that I can catch him from behind and just kill him before he can even turn around. At least, you know, that's the hope. So here we are, double speed, engaged. La, 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 la. You know what? Quadruple speed engaged. Blah, 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 blah. Gotta be thorough. Artillery can be very sneaky. And I'm just getting here. Going back to double speed. Coming down to single speed here as I come around to check this out. You're thinking, ha, kill shot. He's gonna be right there in those bushes. No, actually, he's not. There is a reason I'm, I'm slowing down right now. because something's gonna be happening shortly. I think it's gonna be very important for how this battle ends. There it is. Yep. He snuck by me. He was somewhere on the east side. He drove over and has now arrived in our base. And is hoping, of course, I'm too far away to reset. I've got a full minute and a half to get back. I'm about as far away as possible on this map. 
and I have to get back to the base in a minute and a half. I can't afford to track myself. I can't afford to go over a hill, so I'm going to have to blaze right down the middle of the map here. And yes, I'm leaving it on regular time now, so you can watch the ticker. Feel the pressure. Of course, you probably have already guessed how this is going to work out, because you seem like sensible viewers. Here we go. And as I'm approaching, I'm thinking, all right, how am I going to do this? I have to take a gamble. I don't know which way his gun's going to be pointed. But he is a fixed artillery. He can only point his gun in one direction. So I'm going to decide I'm going to try approaching from the west. Because once again, the last place they saw me doing all my killing from was on the east side. So there's a good chance that that's where I'll be pointing his gun. Because quite honestly, if I was... Uh... If I was in the artillery, that's probably what I would be doing. Though sometimes I like to second guess people by pointing my gun the way, and occasionally it pays off. And there he is! Yep, he's pointing his gun that way. He sees me. He tries to turn. I put a solid, nice HE around, but he's one of the better armored artillery, so as a result, it doesn't actually kill him. I reload with armor piercing, though. He's got low enough health, but there's no way. So yeah, back off, back off, and then we're going to move to the left. We're going to try and I'll guess which way he's going to be pointing that gun by creeping down here and then popping up in that bush line right up there try not to hit the tree Ooh, hit the tree that would have given me away and I would have had to redo my entire approach and there he goes he's trying to make a break for it denied <laughs> wow how's that for pressure well good game all right, so I was actually fortunate enough to be on a day of free premium uh, when I got this match because I had done 50,000 damage on uh, the previous 24 hours. So instead of getting a mere 1,173 experience, which is still a very nice experience, still I got 1,759, uh, you can see that yeah, I was really sucking out in the beginning of the match uh, because I only got two kills, and they are both one-shot kills on that Nash Horn for very minimal damage. And on a... Um, I don't even remember what the other one was, uh, quite honestly. Uh, but, oh, probably the AT-8, uh, once again, for very minimal damage. And then I had to clean up six enemy tanks, most of whom, unfortunately, were one-shot kills. So it can be argued this is probably not the greatest Kalabanov's medal ever, but it is indeed a Kalabanov's medal. But yeah, as you can see, Kalabanov's medal, Radley Walters medal, top gun, defender, very, very nice. So look at the next page, I think, tells you a lot about what happened to the two relative teams. You can see that uh, our Nash Horn, our Jack Panzer IV, our, uh, the other Hellcat uh, there all had fantastic games. And they really, they were the ones who really set up the game so that I could pull this off by when I suddenly had to decide to stop being an awful player and, you know, get off my ass and kick some butt. Uh, if you'll excuse, excuse my language. You can see the enemy team had some excellent players. That KV-1 I took out, very good. The Nash Horn I snagged as my first kill. Very good. Uh, that T-14, I mean, he didn't do a lot of damage, but very, very aggressive player. And he was the reason uh, some of his, some of those are doing so very well. You know, the other, one of the other Hellcats in that, in that platoon, doing very, very well. Three kills, 1,000 damage. Jack Major 4, 800 damage. I mean, their team overall was very good. They only had three players who basically did nothing, including that unfortunate SU-85 that I just sort of gunned down at the very end. Uh, whereas we had somewhat larger number of players who didn't do very much. Uh, you can see the, the bottom set there. Only the, the VK, this one, really did any damage. We had four players didn't do any damage at all. Um, so, Sergeant Mike Christiana, I don't know if you'll ever see this video, but thank you. <laughs> I know who I know that it wasn't just me alone who got that. You guys were really important in helping set up, set up all that so that uh, I could I don't know, look, look super heroic. Enemy team, well fought. Um, frankly, I think you should have won. Final page shows off my, my clever stats. You can see 20 shots, 13 direct hits. Most of those things I missed on were, of course, in the beginning of the game. Uh, and it was not until I think I got my third kill that I suddenly steadied down and started racking up the damage. You can see I also took several hits, three of which penetrate, two of which were splash damage from the artillery. Very, very close. The artillery was very much had it out for me there at the end, as he, as he should have. And even bounced a shot. I'm guessing that was off the AT-8. Um, yeah. But... 290 base defense points. 
don't think I've ever got that many base defense points in a single go before. I also ran five kilometers, just over five kilometers, which considering the amount of space I was chasing that already over is pretty acceptable. Um, so yeah, very, very nice. But go back to that, that first screen right here. Um, my first Kalabinovs, and uh, hopefully find several more. Good game, and good night.